Unity, like every spiritual gift, is a journey. Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to part number four of this five-part series talking about the unified body of Christ in the book of Ephesians. And yes, that is the good news. Every spiritual gift is experienced the moment we receive it. Remember, Christ is that currency. It's by the power of God that it's accomplished. But we grow in that gift. The measure of the gift or the degree to which we experience it, it's a journey. And we see that here in the book of Ephesians. And that's good news because it should be an encouragement to us if we are discouraged about where we are in that journey. But it also can be an encouragement to us if we find ourselves like, wow, I have this and there's more to come. That's what it says in the word. Let's find out. In Ephesians chapter four and verse number three, look at what he encourages the saints to do. He says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Endeavoring. If it was just a matter of an A to B situation or an A to B transaction, it would just be saying, do it. But it's saying endeavor. It's another way of saying journey, persevere, work towards. And so just like we're on this trip and we're on a journey, we are on our way to a destination. Have we gotten there yet? No, but we're on our way. And moment by moment, we're actually getting closer to the destination. It's the same thing with spiritual gifts. What you are experiencing today, God intends to grow. He intends to develop the next day and the next day and even into and through eternity. So that's why when he's speaking to the church, he says, endeavor, make an effort. And the effort that you make today does not erase the effort you'll need tomorrow. But the effort you make tomorrow to trust God to turn to Christ and expect for the power of God to work, he's going to be there in greater portion than he was yesterday. Look down here in verse number 13. He says again, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So what's the destination? It's not heaven. That's the place. But the person is to be like Christ. That's the destination for the Christian. So here in verse 13, till we all come into the unity of the faith for the for the goal of, of reflecting Christ. That's a journey. Let's let's make it local. Let's say you are in, you have a family and you have children and your children are teenagers. Well, the anticipation is that there's a closeness or you're even closer to your children at 16 than perhaps you were at six. Or well, let's think about a marriage. If you've been married for a year, been married for a month, been married for a decade, the idea is that you'll be closer as time has gone by because the nature of the gift and God's intention is not just to just boom, it's just one day. You know, we have a birthday and you get that gift and it's done, right? And you're waiting to see what's going to happen next birthday. Well, God is like, boom, I'm giving you this gift, everything I, all, everything I have through Christ, but the unwrapping, the revelation, and the experience of that is unending. When we face obstacles, even rejection, when we try to share those spiritual gifts, we don't stop coming. We don't stop going. We keep at it. And we allow God to say, you know what? Where I am in this experience now, this is great. Or it's not so great. Either way, we can't get discouraged because Paul's admonition to us, it says, look here, verse 23 to 24, chapter four, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And guess what? Put on that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, put on the new man. That's a process that's daily. That's a process that whenever you're coming together, perhaps if you want to say in a situation like in a church, right? You're meeting to worship every week. Every week, we need to put on the new man. What happened before is if it was good, great. If it was bad, okay. It's going to get better if we consistently made the decision to put on the new man. It's when we stop putting on the new man. That's when we find ourselves going reverse. That's when we find ourselves divided. That's when we find ourselves stuck. We don't have to be stuck. We just got to make a determination, make a, make a choice to put on the new man and be renewed by the spirit of God. 
This is his plan. And I hope this encourages us, especially when we've hit rifts, when there's been division, when we've had falling out. Get up by letting God bring us up. And what he's promised to do is that he'll put on the new man. We can go at it again and grow in that grace and grow in that gift.